All right, folks, it's the Left Leggy Legend. And in this episode, I want to talk about getting in the car. We're here at my car. Don't mind the junk. My 25 year old son drives my car. So son, if you're watching this, my car needs a car wash and all this trash out of it and an oil change. So people, I wanted to show you how, what my life was like getting in the car. So let's walk. I got my leg on, this ain't magic. I have on my prosthesis. This is probably upside down, but I want you to see there's no magic in this trick that I'm about to play. It's not a trick. This is my life. So, all right. So when I get to the car, I have to sit down. Sorry, you have the odd view, but um, Apple doesn't make it so I can turn the camera around or if I can, I don't know how to do it, all right? So this is the leg. I need to bring this leg in. So usually that means I need to stand up in the car. I'm standing almost and I bring the leg in and position it so that it is up against the middle console. Now, usually I've been learning. I like to give it a little um, push up so that you'll see why in a minute. All right, and so many people think because I'm fat and I have a paunch, um, sorry, I'm giving y'all gray sweat vibes, but um, this is just an odd angle. I'm sorry, my apologies. Um, so people think because I'm fat, I can't lean forward, but you have to understand there's a piece all the way up to my business. I have prosthesis all up in all on my hip so i have to use momentum to reach out the door and close the door now what i should do every time that i forget because i'm rushing is take my keys out of my pocket because the prosthesis makes getting into this pocket hard right i don't have a left accelerator in this car but at some point, I'll be able to buy an accelerator that goes over here. And it will connect to the regular accelerator so I can clip it out and in. So when I buy my daughter's car, I'm going to have a, a removable left accelerator. Now, because this car, if you notice, it doesn't have much space because it has this. So I don't know how that's going to work because I would have to fit the foot through here. And imagine I'm not paying attention. I hit the gas and the brake at the same time. Gas, brake, dip. All right. So... Also, the next move is I need to sit caddy corner. So right now I'm sitting straight forward. I'm sitting uh, perpendicular to the windshield, right? Windshield, right? So I need to move caddy corner. I move, need to move where I'm sitting against the door. Let me see if you can see, right? I'm sitting against the door at a caddy corner because if I'm sitting straight, Oh, you probably can't see that. I don't know if you saw that. But if I'm sitting straight, then when I go to move my leg over here to drive left footed, then it's bad on my hip. My hip hurts because I'm pulling it. All right. OK, so now we're going to get going. Oh, I didn't do my seatbelt. Hold on one second. I need my seatbelt, even though I'm scared to death. If somebody hits this driver's side door i'm leaning up against it so i have to think of something else another strategy and sometimes when i'm on the freeway i'll straighten up so now i'm not as much on the door but i do i get afraid of laying on that on this on there you know just because all right so backing out is easy because it's all brake really you let the car back out don't hit the man Oh shit, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm about to hit the lady. But that's her ass. She's walking behind a car that's in reverse and the driver is not looking. So, kids, when you uh when you're driving, make sure, I mean when you're walking, make sure that you get eye contact with the driver before you what's the name? Wouldn't that be horrible? I'm filming a video with one leg to show y'all how I drive and then I run over somebody abuela. Oh my god. That would, that would be a nightmare. So look, see why I put my foot there? Because I could put this foot on top of it. 
Sorry. I can put this foot on top of that foot and get to the accelerator easier. So it's not a strain. I have the foot up too far though, trying to show you guys because it needs to be back a little bit because then it's at a better angle. Sorry for the fingers. But that's how I left legged drive. Left legged legendary driving. Now, once I get the left pedal, it'll be left legged driving legend, right? So that's how I do. And you see, I just pivot my foot. So I'm on the brake, stop sign, pivot back to the accelerator. But I keep my foot on top of my prosthetic foot and drive like that. How about that? You never know that somebody is driving in the streets like this. So please, when you're driving, don't cut people off. Don't get in their lane hella fast because you don't know if they got a fake foot on the gas pedal. You don't know if they're driving with their left foot, no feet, right hands, their legs. I remember when I would be uh, doing something with my hands while driving. Well, that made it sound worse. Not, not anything... Never mind. If I didn't have my hands on the wheel, then I would have be driving with my knees, with my thighs up against the pedal. So, you know, when you're driving or walking, don't take for granted that somebody is perfect and they're looking and they're paying attention and they can get to the gas pedal and the brake pedal really easily. You know, please remember that there are people with differences out here. You know, it might be a, a, a processing disorder where they see you, but they can't stop their brain from telling them to drive. So anyway, this is the Left Legged Legend with the new episode on driving. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day.